Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the basic process of Style 3D Atelier and Style 3D Siam later. This section will focus on clothing adjustment, pose adaptation, and clothing simulation. First, go to the website simulator.style3d.com slash n. Click here to sign up. Then download Style 3D Siam later. Wait for the download to complete. Now, let's continue downloading Style 3D Atelier. Go to the website atelier.style3d.com slash n. Click here to sign up. Then download it. Wait for the download to complete. Unzip the file. Go back to Unreal Engine. Open the project folder. Find the location of the UE folder and create a new folder named Plugins. Copy the corresponding version of the Siamlater file into the newly created folder. Open the Edit Plugins window. Search for Style 3D and check the box. Click Restart now. Click Siam later and select Login. Enter your username and password. Click Siam later again. Check the box 4 is using baking texture. Next, place the model in the scene. After selecting the model, search for Style 3D on the right-hand side, adding plugins to models. Then, select Export Obstacle to export the obstacle model. Check the exported models for problems. Open Atelier. Here I opened the existing project file. However, users can go to the official repository to download the assets they want to use. It's already modeled in my project. Right-click to choose to show hidden models. Now let's load the model file we just exported. Select Add. In this way, the model in UE was successfully imported into Atelier. We can hide her for a while. Also don't involve her in simulations. With all the plates selected, we have to make sure that the clothes are not frozen or strengthen in the edit field. The vertex count needs to be under 50,000. So we need to increase the particle distance. The larger the distance, the smaller the number of vertices will be. Next, select the fix pin. 
We need to remove the fixing pins used in the garment. Siam later does not support this feature at this time. Next, open the UV editor and lay out the plate. Select all the plates and click on the upper left corner for automatic layout. Finally we change the model to the model in UE. The purpose of this is to adapt the clothing to the initial pose of the UE models. Simulate an atelier without error and then export SMD file. When exporting, users need to check the unified UV coordinates. The size is under your control, and the other options are defaulted. Back in UE, import the SMD file. Next, add clothing assets to the model in the plugin. Click Bind Group Save Bind is for skinning the garment first. Next, add animated assets to the model. Go back to Plugin and click Preview in Editor to make the clothing automatically fit the model's pose. Users can also select Enable Pose Fitting to complete the adaptation of clothing and posture. However, you also need to go to the Animation Asset and create a current pose. Follow the steps in the video. Of course, you can change the file name and save location. Now, add the pose asset you just saved in the plugin. Click on Post Fitting to complete the fitting. Typically, this feature is used for complex movements and clothing. Next, check the solver parameters. When simulating in real time, it is best to select both async mode and smooth animation. Back face prevents the loss of the mesh on the back of the garment. Other parameters use the default. Let's see what the real time simulation looks like. Next, we switch to the garment cache record. Check record Acator animation. And turn up the subfile max size a bit. At this point, the solver parameters remain default. Next you can record the garment cache. After recording, copy the name of the cached file. Switch to Garment Cache Play. Paste the copied file name into Cache to Play. Next, create a new level sequence.
After opening the level sequence, add both the model and clothing animation. The user can freely control the animation duration in the sequence. Now add a camera lens. User can set their own focal length and lens animation. Also, don't forget to add modeling animations. After confirming that there are no errors, you can render out the film. Select AVI, modify the storage path. Of course, users can also set their own rendering settings. In this way, a mock-up video of a set of ready-to-wear clothes is completed. Well, that's all for this lesson. Welcome to like and share the video. Participate in the comments section and leave your comments. We'll see you in the next video.